So I googled what job I could do from home. And the most popular was selling feet. And then I realised I don't love feet. So Mr. B sucked his at it again. Any disabled person can still find a job. There's a job for everybody. And also, it will make us happy. Because living on PIP and benefits is a lifestyle choice. I did not choose this lifestyle. I did not choose to have no money and pay for f food, nappies and care instead of going to work. Where actually I loved my job. I absolutely loved my job. And before anybody says, go back to your job, it's eight flights of stairs. In a wheelchair with no lift, eight flights of stairs, it would take me my entire shift to get bum shuffling up them and then I'd probably be sacked. So, um, <clears throat> being a good person, I did believe that that job should be to somebody that could actually do it. Sorry. I think I've got a plan and I think this is where Rushy's going. You know when you drive down the motorway and you see all these workers uh, usually standing about, they're not really doing anything and um yeah anyway so you know them and they dig the road and they and they're supposed to like fill in potholes and 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 make new areas oh, yes i know before you say anything i can't do that job i know that because i'm in a wheelchair and i can barely move and i've got one leg that really doesn't work but I've got a better idea. Okay, so I can't be the builder. I can't be the, the road workman. I know that. But I could be a co <laughs> You know that you know they put the cones out first? Instead of using cones, use disabled people. I mean, come on. Like, they're on about, you know, for mental health issues, because again, that's a life choice to be depressed and shit. why not like get a job so what they're gonna go and do is empty all the care homes like go and get all the old people all the disabled people let's get us all lined up down like the motorways and we'll stop we'll stop people hitting the people that are doing nothing <laughs> yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna apply to be a cone i can't wait Yes, Rushy, I have to say sorry, I will be wearing red. It, it's just that, like, um, it's it's the uniform. It's it's not a lifestyle choice. It's not a choice, I promise. It apparently stops people, like, uh, crashing into us. So we, we have to wear red as a uh, safety. Not because we're voting Labour or anything like that. Just so you know, you know? And I've even said, because my upper body... Um, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite strong upper body ish, so I, I could hold one of the flashy beacons, you know, the flashy ones. I could be one of the flashy <laughs> ones, so I could stand there and hold, well, sit there with, with my flashy beacon. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know how much they get paid though. If you know, please, can you put it in the comments? Because Rushy, soon to be sacked, um, hasn't replied to my emails all my texts, all my whatsapps. But anyway, I love you Rushy.